Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Fluid Mechanics. Fluid Mechanics is the study of an object or a human body that travels through any liquid or gas. For example, swimmers travel through water and a tennis ball travels through the air. Both of these are slowed down by friction or drag. Dynamic Fluid Force. Fluid Dynamics is concerned with the movement of liquids and gases. It is a branch of fluid mechanics which is the study of fluid and how force affects them. Drag and lift are dynamic fluid forces. These two forces have an effect on a variety of sports such as cycling, sprinting and swimming. Any projectile such as a ball, discus and javelin will also experience a drag and lift force as it travels through the air. Key terms you should know. Drag force. A force that acts in the opposition to motion. Drag force. A drag force slows something down. Drag is the resistance force caused by a motion of a body travelling through a fluid. A drag force acts in opposition to the direction of motion and therefore has a negative effect on velocity. A drag force is produced from air resistance and friction. A cyclist, for example, will constantly try to minimise drag so they can increase velocity. There are two different types of drag, surface drag and form drag. Surface drag relates to the friction between the surface of an object and the fluid environment. It is sometimes called skin drag. Swimmers wear specialised smooth clothing and shave off their body hair from their arms and torso to reduce surface drag. Form drag relates to the impact of the fluid environment on an object. It is sometimes referred to as shape drag. The force affecting the leading edge of an object increased from a drag and a force affecting the trailing edge reduces the form drag. Force drag relates to streamlining, and if we stick to swimming as an example, the swimmer has to create the thinnest and straightest form as they move through the water to decrease the form of drag. A large form drag also offers less turbulent air for anything that is following, e.g. in the slipstream. In cycling, for example, a cyclist will use another rider's slipstream, also known as drafting. Slipstreaming. A great example of slipstreaming is how cyclists use or the rider slipstream to gain an advantage. As you can see here, the air passes around the first rider and the second rider requires less energy to keep at the same pace. As the wind hits the front cyclist, it goes around the sides and the cyclist behind uses the air pocket that it's created. For this to work, the second cyclist has to ride very close to the bike in front and can save up to 30% more energy as a result. Key terms. Streamlining involves shaping a body so it can move effectively and quickly through a fluid as possible. Factors that reduce and increase drag. Drag opposes the motion of a body travelling through the air. This can be broken down into three different areas. The velocity of the moving object, the cross-sectional area of the moving object, and the shape and the surface characteristics of a moving body. The velocity of a moving body. The greater the velocity of the body through a fluid, the greater the drag force. A racing car, sprinter or cyclist will experience greater air resistance in their competition which will increase drag. Consequently, in a sport that is very quick, it is important to reduce the effect of drag and this is done by streamlining the body as much as possible. The cross-sectional area of the moving body. The cross-sectional area of a moving body can reduce or increase the drag. A larger cross-sectional area increases drag. In some sports, reducing the effect of drag is crucial to ensure success. For example, in the Tour de France, the competitors reduce their cross-sectional area by crouching lower over the handlebars rather than sitting upright, as you can see here. The shape and the surface characteristics of a moving body. A more streamlined, aerodynamic shape reduces drag. Sports scientists are regularly trying drag-resistant clothing to achieve marginal gain in speed to give competitors the edge over their opposition. A speed skater has a helmet that extends from their shoulders to give them more streamlined position, and their special form-fitting suits and aerodynamic boots are also streamlined. In cycling, clothing with ridges and aerodynamic helmet with air ducts have been recently designed to try and reduce the effects of drag even more. Elite swimmers shave off all their body hair and wear half-body swimsuits. Previously they wore fast suits, but these have now been banned, so they can create a smooth surface those who do not shave their heads wear swim caps. 
the shape and the surface characteristics of a badminton shuttlecock result in a much larger drag force from air resistance. The shuttle has an unusual shape with its feathers and is very light. The large drag force from the air resistance means it loses speed quickly, causing the body to move perpendicular to the direction of travel. The Bernoulli Principle Where air molecules exert less pressure the faster they travel, and more pressure when they travel slowly. Angle of attack The tilt of a projectile relative to the airflow. The Bernoulli Principle When a discus is thrown, it experiences an upward lift force during flight. A lift force enables the discus to stay in the air for longer, therefore increasing the horizontal distance it travels. The more lift a projectile has during the flight, the longer it will stay in the air, and the further the horizontal distance it will travel. Lift is achieved when the different air pressures act on an object. Air that travels faster has a lower pressure than air that travels slower. This is the Bernoulli principle. When a projectile such as a discus is released, the angle of attack is important. The angle of attack changes the flow of the air around the discus, so the air that travels over the top of the discus has to travel a longer distance than the air underneath it. This results in the air above the discus travelling at a faster velocity, which therefore creates a lower pressure. This lower pressure above the discus creates an upward lifting force and allows the discus to stay in the air for longer, resulting in a greater horizontal distance. If the angle of attack is too great, then the lift is reduced and the drag increases, causing the discus to stall. The optimum angle of attack that produces the best lift for a discus is anything between 25 and 40 degrees. A lift force does not always have to work in an upwards direction. The Bernoulli principle can also be used to describe a downwards lift force, such as that required by speed skaters, cyclists and racing cars. The car, bike and skis need to be pushed down into the ground so that greater frictional force is created. In Formula 1, for example, the spoiler is angled so that the lift force can act in a downward direction to push the car into the track. This happens because the air that travels over the top of the car travels a shorter distance than the air underneath due to the angle of the spoiler. As a result, the air above the car travels at a slower velocity and at a higher pressure. This creates a greater frictional force so the tyres maintain a firm grip on the track as the car travels at high speed around corners. Here the shape of the angle of the rear spoiler results in a lift force created by the Bernoulli principle acting in a downward direction. Similarly, with cyclists, the low streamlined body position over the handlebars the air that travels over the top of the cyclist has to travel a shorter distance than the air underneath. This results in the air above the cyclist travelling at a slower velocity, which therefore creates a higher pressure. This higher pressure above the cyclist creates a downward lift force and allows the tyres of the bike to maintain a firm grip on the track. To summarise, you should know drag and lift are dynamic fluid forces. Drag is a force that acts in opposition to motion and a lift force causes the body to move perpendicular to the direction of travel. The factors that reduce and increase drag are the velocity, cross-sectional area and the surface characteristics of a moving body. The Bernoulli principle is where air molecules exert less pressure the faster they travel and more pressure when they travel slowly. Using this principle, an upward lift force is produced for the discus throw and a downward lift force for the speed skaters, cyclists and race cars.